I began studying the other two major works of the era, the New Testament and Wars of the Jews by Josephus, a Roman court historian who described the war between the Romans and the Jews in the first century. While reading these works side by side, I noticed an amazing connection between them. Certain events from the ministry of Jesus seem to closely parallel episodes from the military campaign of Roman Caesar Titus Flavius, a campaign which took place 40 years after Jesus supposedly lived. My efforts to understand these connections led me to an incredible discovery. Christianity had been invented by a little-known family of Roman Caesars, the Flavians. And they left us documents to prove it. The Flavians uh, are not a household name, and yet it's the Flavians who completely reshaped the Roman Empire. In Rome, of course, there's the, there's the Colosseum, which is uh, understood to be the best known monument of the ancient Roman Empire, perhaps. The Colosseum is, in fact, a Flavian construction produced during the Flavian period. It's under the Flavians that both Rabbinic Judaism and Christianity take shape. Why would the Flavians be interested in creating religions? Much like today, their era was marked by political power struggles, a bankrupt economy, religious conflicts, and endless wars. In the midst of this turmoil, the Flavians seized control of the Roman Empire and ushered in an immense paradigm shift. To understand the Flavians' rise to power, we need to go back to the reign of the previous powerful rulers, the Julio-Claudian dynasty.